What's up? What's up? It's your man DX, and welcome back to the Elite DX channel. Today, I'm going to be going over a video from YouTube that I ran into, happened across, and it's by Janae Amore. I'm going to be pointing out in this video some of the main reasons why I do not envy you fellas from Generation Z and the millennial men because you are forced to have to deal with young women who think like this. And the name of her video is Why Women Want High Value Men But Date Jailbirds. This should be interesting. But first, let me remind you that if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button as well if you like the content in this video. And of course, go ahead and share this video across social media so we can get this message out there. Now, tell us, Janae Moore, why do women date jailbirds? So I've heard women say all the best men are in prison. And it makes you wonder, what the hell is she talking about? How are all the best men in prison? How are, are the, what, what is she saying that like these guys who've committed crimes are like men so so men are are considered what like you have to you have to go to jail like you have to be a bad person do bad things like that doesn't make any sense no that doesn't make any sense but when we consider the certain men that they're talking about because they're not talking about murderers hopefully they're not talking about pedophiles they're not talking about those type of men the men that they're talking about are usually drug dealers. And I know that it's bad, illegal. They should do the right thing, yes. But the thing that attracts these women to these men so much is that they have a provider mentality. They have a protect and provide mentality. Okay. So the first thing I notice here is something that really irks me about females in this modern era. And it's only really come about in the last few decades. And it has to do with sociopathy. Most women, I would say 90 to 95 percent of women are straight sociopaths. One of the main traits of a sociopath is that they always will try to justify their behavior, their wrong behavior. And most women, once you point out their wrong behavior and ask them to explain it, they immediately start to obfuscate. They begin to alter and change the facts to fit their bad behavior. And they begin to make up excuses for their bad behavior. I mean, one of the first things that comes out of her mouth is that, no, 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 well, you just don't understand. It's not that these men who are in prison are great men and we just think that they're the best men on the planet. It's that they have this provide and protect mentality. Well, most people with a couple of brain cells would say, that doesn't sound right. And in fact... Most people who think logically, meaning men, would listen to that and say, well, that doesn't make any sense because how can they provide for you and protect you when they're in prison, right? But this just goes to demonstrate the convoluted pattern of thinking and the roundabout way of thinking that sociopaths exhibit. And one of the other main traits of a sociopath is that they never, ever admit wrongdoing. Now, if you've ever tried to get a woman to admit that she's wrong about something and apologize, then you know exactly what I'm saying here. It's like a bitter pill that they do not want to swallow. And so already, right out the box, she's sounding like a sociopath which I have to say is kind of expected. And I think I already know what she means about the provide and protect mentality. But let's just look at more of the video and see if she has anything useful to say going forward. And a lot of those 
men take care of their woman, take care of their mother, take care of the women in their lives. And so they do that at any cost. And a lot of those men don't have access. They may be of a very low class where they don't have the network, they don't have the know-how, they don't have the education to do that. And of course, some people say, well, there's no excuse for that, but there kind of is. Because when you don't grow up with certain with certain access and certain resources and you have a provider mentality and you're not willing to just do what everybody else is doing around you, working at gas stations or being an employee somewhere, when you have a entrepreneurial businessman leadership mentality, but you don't have any access to anything but the basic mundane, like $8 an hour jobs and probably even less back then versus drugs. When you see that the people that have the most money in your community are drug dealers and you have a business mind, you're gonna do things at all costs. And women can see potential and women are very attracted to a provider and a man who's a go-getter and a man who's a doer and it takes care of business and handles things. And those men, usually do but the problem is it's illegal and so they go to prison and then the women are like oh you know the good men are in prison like all these guys who are just and you know I can I can already I can already hear you guys like like oh so I'm just nothing because I'm just out here doing the right thing like no that's not what it is it's just that it, it's just that guys who tend to just be average are just I'm sorry but I'm not sorry it's boring. Like average is mundane and it's not like, I don't mean average like, oh, you are an employee because any employee that it's, that's not always average. But if you're willing to just be a cashier and then try to move your way up and then you're also like, but girl, you got to work too and we're going 50-50 and I need this and I have all these demands like versus a guy who's like I got you I'm gonna take care of you I'm gonna get your nails done I'm gonna get your hair done I want to do this I want to do that for you come on actually I'm about to go get it right now here how much do you need bam 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 I got you girl you this like that's so attractive like damn it's so attractive the gold digging is real it just is look at that expression now at this point yeah it would be easy to just go ahead and drag this chick and talk about how dumb what she's saying is how misguided and how she needs to just shut up. But I realized that this chick is young and her mental processes are not functioning properly. And there are reasons for this. I suspect that one of the main reasons that she's thinking in this manner is because she's listening to the wrong women. And she's listening to women who don't have a lot more experience than what she has. See, one of the things that I definitely do not like about social media and these video sites like YouTube is that they allow people who don't have the life experience, these young people who haven't lived anything, to get up there and start giving advice to other people who haven't lived anything and don't know what to do either. So it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. So for that reason, I'm not going to just drag this chick. I'm going to sit here and try to analyze exactly all the things that are wrong with the way she's thinking. And so the first thing she tries to explain is that this provide and protect mentality means that he takes care of the females in his life, like his mother, his sister, and of course his girl, at any cost. Now, the cost is what she's not thinking about. What is the cost of him doing this illegally? Well, the cost to him is that eventually he's going to get arrested. The fact is that most people who are doing selling drugs and doing fraud and things like that, they eventually get arrested. So that's the cost to him. She's perfectly okay with that. She's perfectly okay with the cost to him which is going to affect his life. But what she's not thinking about is the quote-unquote cost to her, um, if you can call it that. And that would be that when this guy gets arrested, 
he's no longer free to provide for you and protect you. So then you basically have to start over with another guy, another thug on the street who's selling drugs. And we know that women like to lock guys in by having a baby by them. So if you have a baby by this guy who's in prison, then you have to find someone out on the street who can still provide for you and your child. And this is the reason why we have so many single mothers walking around out here with babies' daddies who are in prison. And then she starts talking about how these guys who deal drugs and eventually go to prison have an entrepreneurial mentality and they're hustlers and how basically they don't have to punch a clock or anything like that. And she even frowns upon and disrespects people who are working regular jobs, making eight, ten dollars an hour or whatever. Well, this just highlights another thing that's really wrong with young women nowadays is that they want fast cash right now, but they have been conditioned by society to think that they can have it all, meaning they can have your fast cash, they can have your time, and they want you there, and that's just not realistic. It's not reality at all. And then after that, it seemed like she was having an epiphany because she kind of points out something that's contradictory in her thinking, which is, well, those guys, they handle their business. The problem is that it's illegal. Well, yeah, that would be the main problem. But then she goes right back to this other wrong thinking by saying, an average guy is just boring. Well, you can't have it both ways, Janae Moore. Either you're going to have a stable guy that's secure and stays out of trouble and is making an okay living where he can sit there and give you some of the things you want and need in life and look out for you and your baby. Or you can have a life with a dude where there's guns around and drugs laying around and you could possibly get raided at any minute, get shot. He could die. You could die. Your kid could die. And maybe he goes to prison for a long time. And what she's saying is the latter one is preferred because he's more exciting. Now, I know this chick is young, but with this type of thinking, all she's showing is that she's a future prisoner's baby mama in the making. That's it. And then in the last segment of this, she really shows the real meaning of the provide and protect mentality. That's a dude who's just going to roll off some hundred dollar bills into your hand and say, I got you, girl. Go on ahead and do what you want to do. Get your hair done and your nails and blah, blah, blah. And then she basically shows that it's not okay with her to go 50-50 with somebody and build something together. No, 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 no. That's just not acceptable to her. Women have really messed up the game these days with this mess. And that's why I do not envy you millennial and Generation Z guys, man. You got a lot of mess to deal with. Because look at this chick. She may be very nice looking, but her whole mental is corrupted. Let's roll the rest of this video so I can see what else she got to say. And why wouldn't a woman want that? That's why a lot of women are saying, man, the men, it's it's. It's not that they did something illegal, it's their mentality and it's their provider and it's their go-getter and it's their strong and their, you know, so they just have this, that masculine thing, not this like, I'll just do what, I'll just go by the rules and go on the paper and it's just boring. Yeah, you need to do it too and live a mundane life. And not saying it's like, not saying that like living a regular life is bad. I'm just saying that for women who are into high value men and into being provided for, which honestly is all women, all women are into being provided for. That's just matter of fact. Um, I actually was watching something about Kevin Samuels and he said, all women, no matter what race, all women want to be provided for. They want a provider. So you can't really get out of that. You know, submission comes with a cost comes with a cost and women aren't wanting to submit to men who aren't providing women just don't want to why we're, we're equally doing stuff like you know why but those men that are jailbirds and jails or tight rooms and the ray rays or whatever you call them they are providing and so those women are willing to submit to them because they are willing to provide for her at all cost and that is honorable that that idea now of course they just need to do something else but that they have entrepreneurial businessmen mindsets they have provider mentalities and that that 
my man is what attracts women. It's not that we like men that are locked up, okay? It's not that we like that. That's not the case. It's just the mentality behind the men who are locked up. And a lot of them are just, man, I know a lot of women that know a guy that's like, oh, he is a, he is a, of course we know shitty ones too. Now we're not saying all the men in jail. Do not get it twisted. Okay, we are not saying all the men in jail, in prison, are good men. That's not what we're saying at all. It's a certain percentage. It's a certain percentage. Do I know the percentage? No, but I know that this is something that's out there. I know that this is how a lot of men and women feel. So there is a percentage of them that women really like their mentality and they really just got into the wrong things trying to be that provider. So yeah, the rest of that video is just her just continuing to repeat the same things over and over. They like the Pookies and the Ray Rays because they have a quote unquote masculine attitude about providing and protecting and basically it's just laziness. You go out and you take all the risk and no matter what cost, bring me the lifestyle that I think I deserve to live. It's just laziness and entitlement. And this attitude has been socially engineered into women at this point. Me and my guy, Keith, we talk about this all the time. And shout out to KJ Hinkle on Facebook. But we talk about how back 20 years ago, you used to be able to meet a nice woman in the store or at wherever, the library or just at work or whatever. And you guys start talking and getting to know each other and you making her laugh and she's digging you and it wouldn't take much. All you would have to do is just invite her out. You guys go out to maybe a dinner or to a drink and she um, would come back to your place and you guys eventually just hook up and get together and start building a life together. It was pretty simple. But now... These young chicks, they just expect you to start rolling off $100 bills in their hands, taking care of all their expenses right off the box. And if you ain't doing that, they ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say. I mean, I really feel sorry for all of you young men who are in this woman's generation because this is all you have to choose from right here is this mess. All of the good traits that women used to have are just basically gone. They've been bred out. Like a good woman who would want to get with a smart man who has some ideas and just work with him and help him to build a good life. I mean, all of that is just pretty much done. I mean, I'm sure that there's a few women out there who still have a mentality like that, but it's basically like searching for a little tiny raft in a vast giant ocean. You feel me? We live in a society right now that's been socially engineered for just instant gratification and satisfaction of women. You give them everything they want and you give it to them right now and don't expect anything in return. And if you ain't good with that, then guess what? No woman for you. That's what they're saying. Guys, this is destruction. This behavior leads to destruction. But of course, these narcissistic, selfish, entitled, and sociopathic women are not going to realize it until it's too late. That's the problem. Now, this chick got dragged pretty good when she posted this video on YouTube. And that's another reason why I didn't necessarily want to drag her that hard in my video. As y'all can see here, fellas, in over 1,500 views, she only got 32 likes and over 160 dislikes. And out of the 227 comments, most of which are men's comments, the overwhelming majority of them are dragging her and telling her how stupid this reasoning is and how dumb she is. And so let's just review a few of these comments. First dude says, if they so entrepreneurial, how come they can't stay out of jail? Sounds dumb. Good point. Another dude down here says, raise your daughters right or else they'll end up like her. <laughs> True. Dude here says, this is complete and utter nonsense. Dude here says, this video has way too many likes. Like, are there actually people in this world that think like this? Man, our future is doomed. I have to agree with you, ugly God. This dude here says, women like you aren't worth it. I agree. Well, I guess that's it for this video because that's all the time this chick deserves. 
And like I said before, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And then smash that like button just to show that you appreciate the content that I'm creating up in here. And be sure to go on and pull up in the comment section and let me know what you think about this chick right here and what I had to say about her. And last of all, let's get this joint popping on social media, dog. Share this on any platform you want to. It's all good. And I will catch you guys somewhere in the mix. Until next time, this is your man DX, and I am out. <laughs>